Just back from Newfoundland, we sailed to PEI, looking forward to a great weekend of kiteboarding. But in the back of our minds, Brad and I were both worried about the impending storm. After complete devastation in the Abacos, Dorian was heading our way, still loaded with plenty of intensity. A few years back, Charlottetown was hit hard by a hurricane, so the boaters there took no chances and almost all boats were pulled out of the water. We didn't have that option, so we took shelter in the best place we could find and secured everything for the storm. Hooks cleared off, jibs down, cushions are inside. Helm is secure. And we're just getting ready to head over to the hotel. Yeah! We have to sneak Ruby in somehow. Okay. That's a wrap. Uh, hopefully all is well until tomorrow. We'll check on it then. The hurricane has started and we're seeing a bit of wind coming from the east so hang time is pretty protected from the east but here's an example of the beginning probably blowing 25 knots 35 35 knots white caps on the water the storm raged on through the night Charlottetown saw maximum winds in excess of 85 miles per hour. We were protected from every wind angle except for the southwest. Lucky for us, the storm passed over so quickly that we didn't have a lot of wind from that direction. I'm here in downtown Charlottetown, just heading over to the boat. Actually, it looks pretty good so far. Uh, not a lot of damage from what I've seen, a lot of power outages. Good morning, it's 6.30 in the morning. And we're off to look at her. It 
Looks pretty good. Dirty. Real dirty. Oh yeah, she's dirty. We were so thankful that we fared out well in the hurricane. It was a good learning experience for us on what to do to prepare for a storm of that magnitude. After we got the boat cleaned up and opened up again, we enjoyed a beautiful sail back to Nova Scotia along with some special guests.